Hey everyone, this is Zephyr, and welcome to the BaileyWiki channel, where we teach everyday DMs how to create truly amazing experiences for their players by combining art and technology. Today, we're automating Foundry once again with Monk's active tile triggers. This time, we're also going to make use of one of our favorite animation and ambiance modules, FX Master, to create clickable weather toggles and changes for our scenes to instantly transform our ambiance and atmosphere in our games. Let's dive right in first with FX Master. Using our effects controls, we can configure different weather options with a variety of customizations beyond just the filters that we're using. Each control has direction, speed, lifetime, density, and tinting, all to customize the look of your weather effects and scene. So once we've configured a weather effect that we're happy with by combining or using even just one of these filters, we can save our changes to apply them to the scene. After we've done that, we can add even more things. Using the filter tool, we can apply effects such as this lightning here. There are a lot of options available, so play around until you find something that you like. A great part of FX Master is that once we're happy with something, we can save it as a macro using this button. So we've saved the macro weather and filters to our macros directory. We can search for that really quick and look at the macro. If you are macro inclined, you can instead write out all of these parameters rather than testing and saving it, but this is a great way to visually look at what these weather effects do. Set up your macro however you like, and if you'd like a copy of this exact one, it'll be in the comments down below. With our weather still active, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these toggles I've already set up. It's gonna remove our filters, and we can see the weather slowly start to change from that faster, darker clouds into a more sunny day. Then if we want our stormy weather back, we just click on the macro and select execute macro to have all of our weather return. We'll be leveraging this macro when we create a monk's active tile trigger in order to actually set this weather once again. So let's go ahead and dive into that now. I've already set up our new tile in its most basic form, and I'll be showing that configuration here shortly that you can pause on. But you can see that clicking on these buttons toggles perfectly between our appropriate weather effects and filters. In our general setup, I have this as a GM only and on click tile. And then it's a pretty simple list of actions. Run macro is doing the heavy lifting here. We're just pointing it directly to that stormy weather macro we created earlier. And I have some other quality of life features that we've seen before about indicating what weather effect is active and giving us a notification that we clicked on a weather button. Here in our slightly cloudy weather toggle, you'll notice that there is a macro for removing FX master filters. This is necessary in order to get rid of the lightning. It's a very simple macro that I'll also put in the comments. It's basically setting our filters to nil. That way we don't still have the lightning persisting because we are modifying the weather with our weather macros, but we're not necessarily always going to be updating the filters. So we need that extra clearing filter macro. If you are using additional macros that include filters, you'll want to run those after you use the clear FX master macro or whatever you choose to name your version of the macro. While activating macros shortcuts a lot of things that we can do during the game, that's not everything we want for a stormy scene, right? We probably want to be a little darker, so I'm testing the darkness level that I would like in my scene configuration. Probably want it dark enough that I don't turn off that unlimited vision, but I do have some of the lights I've set up in the house turning on. I also have a sound beacon that I placed that is this stormy weather that has some thunder and lightning sounds to it. I'd like to have that on when it's storming or when the storm is rolling in, but I don't want to have that on when it's a otherwise normal day. And we can automate all of that with Monk's Active Tile Triggers. So this is where combining FX Master and MATT really comes into play with changing our scene ambiance. Pause right now if you want to look at the full tile configuration, and I'm going to walk through the logic really quickly. After our usual quality of life pieces, we're starting by changing the scene lighting. Then we're going to run our filter macro, 
followed by our Stromae weather macro, and finally activating that sound beacon. I personally prefer to activate a sound beacon here because I want it to obey the walls to an extent, and I want it to affect everyone who's on the scene and nowhere else. So it gives me just a little bit more control. Looking at our other reset macros, you can see that we are deactivating the sound, updating the scene lighting, etc. And you can change the order at which you have some of those effects take place if it seems to make more sense to you to turn off the sound first or change the lights first. And obviously we can add additional delays if we want to have some specific functions on when these things happen if that's important to us. But if we're mostly using this for prep sessions, that is unnecessary. And we can see that we can have a wide variety of different lighting effects and ambiance options here. This allows us to quickly cycle through some different pre-configurations that we want. We obviously want that stormy weather, but if we want a storm approaching, we can have that option as well, along with slightly cloudy or raining or snowing. These are really powerful settings for completely changing the look and feel of a scene without actually changing the artwork. And we've now shortcutted this from several different actions, executing a macro, saving a scene configuration, activating or deactivating lights and sounds, and turn them into a single button click that we can do before our session or in the middle of it if we're having changing conditions. We can also then combine this with additional triggers to actually go ahead and change that artwork, truly transforming the scene in a matter of moments in the middle of a game. That's going to conclude this episode of Automating Foundry with Monk's Active Tile Triggers and FX Master. I hope that this has given you some ideas on how you can change the ambiance and feeling of your scenes quickly and easily within your games. So in the comments, let me know what weather patterns your world is going to be experiencing now. This has been Zephyr with the Bailiwiki channel. If you liked this video, subscribe to keep up with all of our latest content, and consider becoming a patron. Not only do you support the channel, but you also get access to every modular system and scene that we've ever made including this multi-level farmhouse within our premium maps module. Thanks so much for watching, happy gaming, and have a good one.